What is up guys, it is Max here, and today, we are back here playing some Lumion Legacy. Alright, so, so what we, what we did on the last game, I mean, what we did on the last video, we looked around Chesma Town, we talked to all the residents in Chesma Town, and then we have two paths, we either go to the Gale Forest, or we go to like another path, so like what I'm talking about, ooh, look at this Pokemon, I, Lumion, oh look at this Lumion, that's a cool Lumion, when I, it goes on your head. That's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, is that another Lumion right there? Oh, yeah. It's a Zalama Train Studio. Right there. I want. I want. I kind of want to get this one. Does anyone... If you type in, type in the comments, see, tell me what... What's the name of that Lumion? Oh, no. It's Dripple. Where's Dripple? Dripple? Are you okay? Here he is. Why is my Dripple not showing up? He's probably doing something. He's probably like talking to some people. But here's our things. We either go, um, we either go to the Gale Forest there or over here. So let's check out what's over here first. All right. Did we talk to this guy? Let's see. You aren't from around here, are you? There's a school here in town. There is a ton of information in there about this town and about Lumions in general. You should swing by and see if you learn anything. All right. Let's see. All right. Any houses that we can go into? Let's see. Okay, there's a garage, right? Anything? All right. Oh, we can actually go in here. What's this place? It's a disc. All right. Oh, okay. There's tons of students in here. It. Oh, I was about to say, why does people have no pants on in in shirts? Let's talk to these guys. Every Lumion is born with in it stats called unique points, or UP for short. There are these are or up. These are natural strengths and weaknesses for that for that stats of each and every individual Lumion. Hardcore trainers will want Lumions with the highest unique points because they can make the difference when it comes down to it. Okay, cool. Can I talk? Or is it just? Yeah, it's just the both of them. I think. You two. Oh whoa 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 wait. Every stat a Lumion has gets its own. <sighs> I'm going too fast. Every stat Illumin has gets its own UP value. The highest UP value possibly is 40. Training Illumin in battle will never raise or lower its UP values. I've read in a book somewhere, though, that it's theoretically possible to raise Illumin's UP values. Hmm. Cool. Alright. I think it's smarter the Briotaurus prioritize Illumin's energy stat. The more energy Illumin has, the more hits it can dish out before needing the rest. Yes. And you? I think it's smarter to prioritize Illumin's health stat. The more health Illumin has, the more hits it can withstand. Yes, I, um, I would go with healing. Sorry, man. Mr. Jimmy. I'm trying to memorize all the different Illumin types, their weaknesses, and their strengths. It could be hard to remember that much information, but it's usually a chart on the wall to make it easier to remember. I've also heard that if you own a Illumin watch, when in your battle, your moves will indicate if they're strong or weak against the opponent. They are these are indicated by arrows on the attack's names. Yes, I saw. Okay, I don't see the Lumion. Let's just talk. keep going down the list. Just because the Lumion has a weak attack value doesn't mean it's useless in battle. Sometimes a strong defense can make for a good offense. Offense. To be honest, there are many battle strategies you could use to power or something. Alright, next person. Lumions have hidden stat values called TP. This stands for training points. Each time a Lumion knocks out another in battle, they receive TP depending on a species of the opponent they knocked out. Each stat can receive training points, and when you accumulate enough points, the total strength for that stat will go up. Hmm, interesting. Alright. A Lumion can gain training points until it's reached a combined total of 500. Each stat can only have a total of 200 points. Ah. Wait a minute. Hold up. Okay. 100 points, though. So... You will have to divide your training points between different stats to get the most out of them. Alright. Oh, is that Lando? That's Lando. It's believed that for every 4 TP you earn in a particular stat, your Lumion gets stronger. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Right. Wait, let's see if there's anybody here. Oh, yeah, we talked to those guys. Right. Let's talk to this guy. Every Lumion has secret potential. Sometimes the Lumion's ability is what gives it the edge in battle. Many Lumions have more than just one ability. Some abilities are only found very rarely. Hmm, okay. What's that? Oh, is that a 
Narwhal? I forgot what it's actually called. I think it's called Narwhal. Hello, Lando. There's so much to learn about Lumians. I want to learn as much as I can about each individual Lumian so that I can plan perfect battle strategies. Once I develop the best battle techniques, there will be no battle starring war that could beat me. Except me, Lando. I will beat you. Oh, I just impaled my tank thing in your chest. Alright, we have four more people, including the teacher. I've been telling everyone from the start, a fast Lumian is the key to success. The Lumian with the higher speed stat will be able to strike first in battle. Getting the first hit is often the greatest advantage in a battle. Hmm, okay. There are actually some moves that can be used that will always go first, no matter the opponent's speed. I prefer to harness the, harness the element of surprise with these speedy moves. Hmm, okay. Awesome. And you? Oh, you have a Lumi watch. I bet you have access to lots of useful information about the Lumens you catch in your Lumipedia app. I have to get it all by reading these books. I so wish I could do my learning from actual experience, but my parents say I'm not ready to venture out on my own yet. Okay. Okay, so we have all these guys. Alright, and now the teacher. All official Lumen trainers are permitted to carry up to seven Lumens, but we're, we're only able to use five in a given battle. The last two spots in your lineup are known as your Lumen's Bench. Lumen set on the bench will passively gain a small amount of experience as you battle, but it cannot participate in the battle itself. Between battles, you may swap Lumens on and off the bench. Hmm, oh, interesting. Alright, so we talked to all these people. Get, we've learned some good st stuff. So I'll see you guys later. Alright. This is probably the school, right? Yeah, right. Let's talk to these couple. This couple. I just threw a coin into the fountain and made a wish. Want to know what I wish for? I wish my girlfriend would tell me why she's acting so weird. She's been possessed. She has been possessed. Oh wow, there's a bridge over there. Hello. I just threw a coin. Oh. Oh wait. I just threw a coin into the fountain and made a wish. Want to know what I wish for? I wish I could find a bathroom. I've got to go so bad and this fountain is making things worse. Okay. Hmm, I, I don't see any bathrooms anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, I'm going to throw a coin. Yeah. Uh, I wish for that my my dripple would appear. Where's my dripple? I'm actually just going to go like that and then go like that. Hopefully that change it. Aw, uh, Dripple's still not here. Alright. Hmm. Hopefully Dripple will turn up soon. Is this a house I can go into? Wait, we still have to look for secrets. Can I even go through? No, I can't. Alright. Maybe you can. I don't think there's any secrets down there. Alright. Let's talk to these people and more. Woo, phew. I need to take a break and sit for a while. I just walked all the way here from Silvent City to visit my parents. My Lumens I love when I make this trip because they get a lot of battle experience while we pass through Route 3. Ooh, is Route 3 over there? What's that? Can't see. Is that Silver City? I can't see. Blind. Hello, I think I've seen you before. Yeah. This path leads to Route 2. If you follow it long enough, you'll pass through Route 3 and eventually make it to Silver City. Oh, okay, so this is Route 3. I mean Route 2. Oh, we're in Route 2. Can we catch anybody? Or no? I mean Lumens? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Alright. Before we go to Route 2, I don't even know if we can. We gotta go get, visit Gale Forest, so. Oh, okay. So this guy must have a mission. Let's see if I can go in here. Ah, uh, I can't. This guy has a mission because it has a golden thing. So, I saw that in the first one where it was like, the golden, had a, the girl had a golden name tag. I mean, not just a golden message like this guy does. And it was like, she wanted the Gleaming Lumen, so what does this guy want? Hey there, Lumen Trainer. Have you ever heard of Cynomoth? I'm looking to study one briefly. You see, there is a mysterious dust that surrounds their wings. If I could get a sample of this dust, I could create antitoxins to counteract their effects. I could invent special potions to cure those status elements. ailments. Oh, if you have a Cynomoth, please show it to me. Okay, so we need a Cynomoth, or a Cynomoth, alright. Hmm... When are we going to get these cinemoths? Alright. Here's these guys. Let's talk to these guys. Hello. Can I talk to you? Right. It can't be that bad, right? What's going on? Ugh. I don't even know what my mom is making me go to the school. I've watched plenty of battles in the battle theater. And you. Right. Wait. We're getting close to Chessman Town. 
we're almost to the Lumion Trainer School. Oh, Lumion Trainer School is there. All right, I can't can't maneuver around these guys. We're off the Gale Force. Let's go. Run, 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 run. Let's go, Chesma Town. All right. What's up, guys? Gale Force is here. All right. So we're going. To, we checked out all this place. This place. This is where Route Two goes. So we catch those Lumians in Route 2, but first we gotta go to Gale Forest because we literally can't, we can't go past there. Those, the people are, are dropping. Okay, look at these guys. Oh, cutscene! Gale Forest, yeah! Cutscene time. I promise, I'm not making any of this up. The Lumians, I saw them with my own eyes. They were possessed with an evil spirit. Ooh. They attacked me with incredible strength. The aura it gave off was dark and chilling. Something has disturbed the souls of this forest. What you are saying is absurd. There are no evil wild lumens in these woods. He's right. These woods have always been watched over by a guardian spirit. I have lived in these woods for many years, and I am telling you, I have never seen anything like this. I believe Duskit, the guardian spirit of these woods, may be a key element in the local lumens' change of behavior. Nonsense. The guardian spirit is a protector of the woods. Sir, your claims simply do not make any sense. Fine then, don't listen to me. I know something has disturbed our sacred forest, and I will get to the bottom of this myself if I have to. Good day to you, sir. Alright, there goes them. Hey, you! Oh, he's calling us. Yeah, you, come here. Alright. You look like a looming trainer. Listen, I need your help. Nobody will believe what I saw earlier today. Something in these woods has changed over the course of the last few days. Dusk, our guardian spirit, has protected these woods for centuries. I visited it from time to time, and it's always been gentle. Except, of course, when I went to visit this morning. Would you mind investigating this mat matter a little more for me? I would go back myself, but I am defenseless and cannot withstand another attack. Maybe having two eyewitnesses will convince the law to take this more seriously. Dusk usually resides in a grove deep in the woods under a flowering tree. I'm going to go inside and rest for now a bit. Now for a bit. I've had a long day. Good luck, young trainer. Alright, see ya. Can I go in your house? Oh, I just made it in his house. I don't think you're supposed to go in his house. Oh. Um. Oh, it was a glitch. I made it. That was a glitch. Alright. Let's see what you have to say again. Dusky can you usually found near pink flower tree. There's an old grave on a tree that guards. you probably find Dusky there. Alright. Do you have a wife, kid in here? Let's see. Anybody? Oh, it's just him. Rip. All right. Let's see how long we've been going. 13 minutes. All right. I'm going to end it here. Ah, we still can't go to Gale Force yet. And uh, the, the next episode, we will make it to Gale Force. You know what? Just one. Just one Lumine. Just one Lumine. Just one Lumine. Are you serious? It's Catherine again? Ah!